you everyone for holding. We are now joined with head coach Paul Petrino of Idaho. If you have a question for Coach Petrino, please press star one to get the queue to ask questions at this time. Again, that's star one to get the queue to ask questions. Idaho now prepares for a uh, game this Saturday against Auburn. That game will take place in Auburn, Alabama. Um, coach Petrino, before we get started to sorry, before we get started with questions, please give us your thoughts on the upcoming game against Auburn. Okay. Um, first thing I want to do is wish Andrew Allen, the quarterback of New Mexico State, I hope he's had a bye week. I hope he's doing a lot better. Unfortunately, um, he got hurt when we played him, and I was misunderstood. Um, in no way did I ever want Mark to tackle that way, and in no way do we ever, you know, we, we play by the rules. That's why we're the least penalized team in the league. We do not teach that, and I... You know, I called Coach Martin and apologized, and I want to apologize to Alan, uh, Andrew Allen myself right now on the air, and, and hopefully he's doing a lot better. Um, moving on to Auburn, you know, it's a great atmosphere. I was lucky enough to coach there uh, in that stadium a couple times. Uh, just a great atmosphere. Our kids are going to be really excited to go in there and play. Uh, obviously, they have a great team with all kinds of talent, and um, we're just looking forward to going in there and playing our best and giving it everything we got. And, um, you know, I think it's just a great, uh, environment for our kids to get to play in, and we look forward to it. They they run the ball really well. Their defensive front, you know, will be as good a defensive front as we've played all year. So we're just looking forward to the challenge, and hopefully we go play real well. Thank you very much, Coach. As a reminder to our members of the media, please press star 1 at this time to get in the queue to ask questions for Coach Petrino. Uh, Coach, we haven't had time to talk really too much about Austin Rico on this teleconference, but, you know, the, he broke the single-season record um, for the for Idaho with field goals this past week. Um, can you talk about his performance, you know, last week with the field goals and also all season because he handled the punting and kicking duties for your team? Yeah, Austin is just, you know, he has a big-time, talented leg. You know, I think he's going to play in the NFL for a long time as a punter. And he's been a great punter for, for all three years, one of the best in the country. But this off season, he really made an emphasis and worked hard on his accuracy and field goal kicking and it's paid off. You know, you got to be really proud of him and happy for him because all the hard work that he put in, and he ends up breaking the school record and, and you know, all, with two games left, and he's just going to get better and better at it. The other thing that he's really improved on that doesn't always show up in the stats, but is his kickoffs. You know, he gets, he gets, you know, if we have seven kickoffs in a game, he usually gets five touchbacks a game. So he, he's just done a great job of improving both in field goal kicking and his kickoffs, and he's always been a great punter. Thank you, Coach. Uh, last week against App State, um, you had a number of key drives in that game where you went down and, and scored touchdowns on. Specifically, a few of them featured Elijah Penny coming out of the backfield to make catches. Um, what's, you know, was that part of the game plan going in, and, and will, you, will, will we see more of that in the future with him coming out of the backfield and making receptions? Yeah, I think Penny, you know, that, that's what I think really makes him a complete back. Um, obviously, he's ran for 1,000 yards this year. He runs really hard a great downhill runner but he can really protect and then he has great hands you know so he, he's really a threat to catch the ball out of the backfield and that's definitely something we want to continue to do what do you think app state does so well in the rushing game that makes them so successful in that area their offensive line you know their 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 offensive line coach does a great job you know and their their old line just plays the game the way you know you like to see guys play they they're Great effort, great technique. They're always finishing people. They got a nasty streak in them, and, and they just play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And, um, you know, they're just, as a football coach, you really enjoy watching their offensive line play because they, they just play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And finally, Coach, with two games remaining, um, one this week against Auburn and one at home against Texas State to wrap up the year, what's the message to your team as you try and get them to finish strong in this season? You know, just to get better every day. You know, that's something we talked about at practice last night. We really want to improve, you know, every single day. I think we've had great improvement this season. Um, you know, it was a shame. We had a little stretch there where we had a chance to win four in a row and had two big leads that, that we lost, but we've shown great improvement. And now these last two weeks, let's just go out there and improve and practice every day and, and then go out in the games and, and, and play that way. We do have one question. Uh, caller from Seattle, Washington. Uh, please go ahead. Hey, Paul. It's Michael Sean. Uh, just wanted to ask about uh, is there is there any adjustment uh, that you guys have to make just in terms of game week preparation when you have a, a non-conference opponent so late in the schedule? Um, I think the only adjustment um, is that we 
that we're leaving on Thursday. You know, so I think that definitely makes it a little bit different. Um, Flight-wise, we couldn't get out on Friday unless we left really late. So, you know, we've had to adjust a little bit that way. But, um, you know, other than that, I think it's, you know, you're kind of like a Groundhog's Day as a coach. And as players, once you get into the season, you prepare the same every week. You practice the same. But we did have to make a little bit of adjustment this week because of when we're leaving. Does that include adding maybe a practice on Monday where you guys would have a day off uh, usually for like a Sun Belt game? Um, no, we we practiced last night though. We we did practice last night on Sunday. We have to, you know, by the NCAA, you have to give them a day off. So we're still today is still their day off. Uh, and just uh, one more question. You you mentioned Elijah did crack a thousand yards uh, on the ground last week. Can you kind of just speak a little bit more uh, about how he's come on this past uh, few weeks? Yeah, you know, you're just so proud and happy for Elijah because. You know, he's probably as great a kid as I've ever coached, just does things. You know, he shows up every day. He's just a hard worker. He gets yards after the contact, you know, of, of his 1,000 yards. A lot of them have been after contact. And he just, he's just, you know, he's a great kid off the field. And, and um, I think he's got a, you know, definite chance to play, you know, at the next level because, because of what I said earlier, too. Not only is he a really good runner, but he can protect and he can catch out of the backfield. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.